We would want to bring your attention to the organization that I quickly mentioned as part of my presentation. So there is something called ISPMA, International Software Product Management Association. I put two pictures of two people in the slide. Those two people are on stage and we have been involved and associated with this organization for a few years now as fellows and I recently became a board member. So what this is, is it an international network that bring together product managers from all over the world. It has its own body of knowledge, so they have trainings, they have certifications in product management, all kinds of things, and they run yearly events in Europe, in the US, and in India. So there is a big summit every year in those three different parts of the world. In between, they run online seminars, minor get-togethers, etc., etc. So it is actually a quite vivid community dealing with things that I think would potentially be interesting for at least some of the people in this room. So I try to think about what would this be in your case? Would this be interesting? So there are a few things, of course. There is the network. There are both other practitioners and also researchers. Uh, as I mentioned, the many events, not saying that all of them are spot on, but there might be something of interest if you would be interested. And also, of course, the best practices, the support and the tools they provide. This year, the summit was in May in Frankfurt for the European version. And it was also the first time where ISPMA organized an, uh, an academic conference on the topic of software product management. So it is a nice mix of, I think what we see here, practice, uh, research, industry, academia, um, that we have both been thinking about how to make even better. And that's where Jan gets the mic. Do I really? Yeah. Because, what am I going to say? Now you're going to say, we have a few ideas. <laughs> um, the interesting thing is, software product managers are of course a job title, but in my experience, many more people actually take the responsibility of or different aspects of the role of a software product manager. Many of you are thinking about how to innovate, how to make changes, how to best drive uh, things forward within your company. And what we're actually exploring, and we want to know whether you think that this is a good idea. I don't know if you have a slide on this. We don't have a slide no, on this, I right? No, no, that's fine. Uh, we're actually thinking to bring the Internet SPMA Summit to Gothenburg next year and combine it or co-locate it with the Software Center reporting workshop in June of next year. That's at least our thinking. And what we wanted to, add, to do is to basically get a little bit of your feedback on that, on whether you feel that this is a good idea, whether this aligns with your interest, or whether you feel that you know product managers, I don't want to touch that with a 10-foot pole, as the Americans call it. I mean, that's ugly and we're engineers and we don't talk about that stuff. That would be the alternative way to look at it. But that's at least our current thinking. Uh, so uh, if you have any immediate feedback, we'd love to have that. Is this a good idea or do you feel that this is a terrible idea? It's a great idea. Good. Thank you. Any other feedback? David has a, gives me a thumb up. Who wants coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Because my feeling is that we've reached the point between raw, medium, and well done, where I think we need to, uh, we are definitely reaching the well done stage. Um, I think I had the easy job just opening this thing right after lunch when the blood hadn't really sunk into your stomach yet. Helena had a slightly harder job, but the hardest job had those fine gentlemen sitting over there talking about their real world Volvo case. So I want to thank you guys once again for coming out here. I want to thank the audience for actually having patience with us as we talk through these cases, because we think it's very important to show you what other companies are doing rather than just being entertained by some dancing researchers on stage, because dance I can, but I mean, I'm not doing it on a day-to-day -day basis. And we promised David an amazing audience. I think you got it. Yes. Thank so, you. so with that, thanks a lot.